everyone, my name is Spythe GB and welcome back to the 6th episode on the Fortress server. As you can see we are currently in our house, I have got some glass smelting and as you can see in my inventory, I've got a bunch of building blocks. And since everybody else is pretty much doing it at spawn, what I'm going to be doing in today's episode is we are going to be heading back to spawn and we are going to be constructing our spawn house because I think that would be a cool idea, you know, just in case we want to go visit the other guys, which of course we will probably want to do at some point. I don't know, you know, it's a server, you get to, you get to play with other guys and see what goes on and see what they build and ah oh, be awesome so let's get on with the uh, let's let's grab this glass out and while that's smelting the rest of that down we are going to go to sleep because uh, you know there's a creeper outside he's my creeper brethren I don't want to get on the wrong side of him because he's a jerk bag uh, got a very short temper and uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to cut down some trees indeed indeed that is what we're gonna do we are going to cut down a combination of dark oak wood and spruce because both of them in log form look fairly similar and I want to use either of the two in my house build I do have a reference image but I don't know if I'll be able to show it because of you know copyright reasons so I probably won't but you'll see what it looks like when we get to that point so let's just carry on doing this ah oh, dang it yeah I need to make a bunch of tools don't I I have 34 levels to my name I think I think I'm overdue a bunch of enchanted tools so uh wood there we go. All right, we're going to make ourselves a bunch of tools, like you do. Okay, so we're going to have ourselves an axe, a new pickaxe. There we go. We're probably going to need another shovel. In fact, I believe I have another shovel. I made myself a, a backup storage chest below this one, you know, just because I kind of had to. So, what else have we got? Sword, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's looking pretty damn cool. All right, enchanting table, what are you going to give us, buddy? Efficiency two. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. I'm okay with that. Efficiency one across the board. I'll have efficiency. I do like myself some efficiency. What's this? Efficiency one, one, one. Okay, there we go. Pretty standard tools. I am okay with that. Uh, is it really worth me enchanting this thing? I don't know, man. Maybe I should just grab one bit of lapis and just be done with it and just do it. All right, okay, boom. Chuck that in there. Give me efficiency. There we go, fantastic. We'll use that one first just because, you know, it's got the lowest durability. And, uh, yeah, we should be good to go apart from that. And obviously, to locate the original spawn, probably the best idea for me would be to make a compass. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in probably months, I'm actually going to be using a compass for its intended purpose. I'm going to be trying to locate spawn with a compass. This is kind of a big momentous occasion for me. But, we do still have some more resources to get, so let's just carry on grabbing some wood, my friends. Uh, we'll grab the glass out of the furnace as well, and after that, we will start making our way to spawn. Alrighty, guys, we have to follow the compass, ladies and gentlemen. We have to keep it facing forward, so... Yeah, this is going to be kind of cool, and I'll tell you what, just to sort of avoid the boringness, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fast forward it. I'm going to time lapse it until we get back to the spawn chunks thing so yeah see you guys in just a second Alrighty guys, I am now at the original spawn, and now what I need to try and do is I need to try and find where the guys started setting up their bases. So, let's just start going along the rooftops until we start finding some familiar things, I guess. Now, let's just have a little bit of a scour, shall we? Hmm, yes, I recognise this place. Original spawn, we knocked 
Daniel off many times in the intro. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Don't worry, guys, because I genuinely have no idea where they've actually set up. I'd have to go back through their videos just to have a look where they did. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead until I find their places. So I shall see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty guys, the good news is I found the spawn village, the bad news is I am being absolutely ambushed by mobs. So I'm gonna have to sort refuge in what I believe is Anthony's Neapolitan bunny. Do you have a, do you have a bed in here, good sir? I really hope so because I really need to sleep. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. They're so nasty. Right, okay. Uh, thank you Anthony. I had a bed of my own, but, you know, I didn't really want to sleep out in the open because I feel like that might be... What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello! <laughs> you came into the bunny hole! LOL! This is the wrong place for you, sunshine. Oh my god. Alright, uh, I'm getting them away from this place. I ain't having this. You, you, you die. You die. Yes, 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 yes. You die as well. That's right. Okay, you die as well. Yes. Yes. Hey, I said yes! Right, and you. Come on. All of you guys, you're all going to die. You're not allowed to live, okay? It's not happening. Right, okay. Now that we're at the spawn village, we need to try and think of a location to put our little house. Right, so. This place looks pretty cool. I could have this island, couldn't I? I could actually have this island. How cool would that be? I could make an island? Oh! Ooh. I do hope nobody's claimed the island. If there's a sign over there saying that someone's claimed it, I'm going to be mad. Because then I wouldn't be able to make an epic bridge over to this place. Oh yeah. Should we make should we make an island house? Eh, I don't know, man. It's gonna take a lot of resources to get the right shape of island that I want. I don't know, man. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna make ourselves an island house, and then later down the line in the series, we're gonna make a big bridge going from this place over to it. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some more resources and I'm going to start shaping out the island as I wish it to be shaped. And I shall see you guys once we're ready to build the actual house itself. Alright guys, a quick progress update to say that the island is now shaped as I need it to be. And I am just about to get back over there and start putting in the floor. Yep, that's right, you had that right. I'm going to start placing in the floor before I start placing in the house because I want to make sure that I get the uh, the, uh, the layout of this house exactly correct. So, this house includes a couple of gardens which are going to be this exact size. So obviously this is where the house is going to go on this edge. So we've got a 3x4 garden on that corner and we'll have another 3x4 garden on this corner here, okay? And now we are going to start placing in some flooring. So... We're going to go with polished andesite because I feel like it is the most appropriate thing to use because I like it. It's a very nice looking block. It really is. One of my all-time favorite blocks in Minecraft. Uh, even unpolished andesite, you know, the raw andesite that you get. Very, very nice. You know, why the hell would you not use it? And it looks like I am too short. I'm literally too short. Okay. Well, maybe I don't need these two right here. I don't think they're going to be visible from the outside. Hmm, just thinking about that as I as I go along here. Right, okay. So we've got this right here. In fact, let's have the uh, let's have cobblestone as the sort of outer rim. Right, there we go. So dark oak. This is going to go like so. Four blocks. It's going to be awesome. Get one, two, three, four. Good stuff. Right now we are going to have a couple of fence gates. They are going to go here and over here. Okay, it's going to look pretty cool. And I guess we're just going to put this in. In fact, this this could actually work. Hold on a minute. I think I've just managed to make the best mistake I've ever made. So this is the inside of the house, we've got the outer rim, and then we've got like a border of cobblestone, haven't we? Do you know what? That actually kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> it actually kind of works, I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, we could potentially make a completely different blooming floor design, couldn't we? We could have this be something else, maybe like a, maybe like carpet or wool or something. I don't know, maybe just something different to what we normally use. Maybe we could even use just regular andesite, you know, the unpolished variant. Should we have a look? Oh my god, Minecraft is all about experimenting. And in this case, I am making the right mistakes. This is good. This is good stuff. I am happy with this. Yeah, it kind of works, doesn't it? And then we've got the main area, which of course is going to feature a whole host of things, like a little kitchen, maybe a tiny little bedroom. It's all going to be one room, of course, but I think it's going to look pretty damn awesome. Right, okay. Now we've got cobblestone here. I would like to incorporate cobblestone into the walls of this build, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe I could do it like so. Hold on a sec. Let's try and get this working. Wait, hold on a sec. Mm. Hmm. 
Hmm, I will need a bunch of solid stone if I'm going to do this. Right, okay, I'm going to have stone bricks like that. Stone bricks like that. And then we're going to have cobblestone like that. Do you know what? I think that works. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. We're rolling with it, my friends. We are totally rolling with it because it looks pretty awesome. There we go. Now, unfortunately, by doing this, I'm going to need to mine a hell bunch of cobblestone from somewhere and get stuff done that way. So, yeah, I'm going to need a furnace and a crafting table and some other basic amenities. So let's just go ahead and chuck them down. Obviously, we can have this be like our kitchen area. So, boom, I can go there. We'll have ourselves a furnace as a result of that. There we go, furnace, the little bedroom's going to be over on this corner right here, so that'll go there, yeah, yeah, and I guess we'll go to sleep as well, because it's, you know, night time, <laughs> could be a bit dangerous, alright, okay, I think the other thing I want to do is just t chuck some uh, torches in there temporarily, because uh, I don't want anybody spawning here while I'm away, alright. Yeah, this is kind of working, isn't it? I like it a lot. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of resource collecting. I will be back with you guys once I have the resources to hopefully complete this house, my friends. See you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, here we go, as you can see I've got the main infrastructure of the house now complete and I've also got these little garden areas, they're basically symmetrical on each side, we've got a little bit of uh, gravel and I need to try and get some grass blocks because I want to try and put some grass in here because I think that would work pretty damn nicely. Unfortunately, I have run out of dark oak altogether and I didn't really think to bring any uh, saplings along with me because I didn't realise I'd need them. So, uh, hmm... Should we go for spruce fences instead? I think that might work. Eh? I don't know. We'll have a look, shall we? Okay, so I just need to try and calculate how many fences I need. So let's just go outside really quick. One, two, three. Two, three, four. So that's seven. We need 14 fences. Okay. Pretty reasonable amount, I guess. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. I need one more load of fences, and that will do the job. There we go. Okay, let's go out here, place these down, and same on this side over here. Boom, 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 all the stuffs, and we'll have a little bit of light as well. There we go, just for the hell of it, and we'll do the same on this side as well. Again, for symmetrical purposes, and we'll put one there as well. There we go. Oh yeah, this is looking cool, isn't it? We just need a little bit of grass on this side, and we should be good to go. But obviously, now what we've got to do is my least favourite part of any build in Minecraft. The roof. I, I do not like making roofs in Minecraft. I feel like they're a massive pain in the ass, but they need to be done, don't they? Otherwise, it won't, they won't really look like a house now, will it? Hmm. Now, I do have an idea of what I could go for, and the thing I'm thinking of going for is slabs. Okay? I'm thinking slabs might work. So, let's try it out, shall we? Let's get up to the, uh, get up to the old roof. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, good stuff. And I guess without further ado, we're just, we're just going to start placing in some things and hope they work, I guess. <laughs> kind of how most of my builds go. Most of the time I don't even know what I'm doing or how I really want them to turn out. But in this case, I've got kind of an image to the side of me and I've got an image in my head uh, as to sort of what I want this to look like. So hopefully it's even, well, if it even somewhat closely matches it, I'll be happy with it. Okay, I will be a happy bunny. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's just do this. The old roofy type stuff. Roof, roofy, roof. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. All around there like so. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's do this over here. All right, good stuff. Okay, and then we start doing the inside parts like so. Uh, what I normally tend to do in my roofs is I tend to do an upside down stairs kind of thing on the inside to make it look like... It's supposed to be there, you know, like it's holding it up or something. I don't know, that might work, but unfortunately, I don't have any spruce wood. Nor do I think there's any spruce wood nearby. Ah, oh, man, maybe I shouldn't have chucked away them spruce saplings back at my house. Ah, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? That was a bad idea. Oh, my God, okay. So, I need to try and get some spruce wood from somewhere. Uh, ha. Huh. Right. Okay, looks like we've got to have some more resource collecting to do, my friends. So, let me go ahead. I'm going to attempt to find some spruce wood or spruce saplings. If I find any in the uh, in uh, Vince's or Anthony's houses, then I'll make them a payment of maybe a diamond or two for whatever quantity of wood I use. So, let me go ahead and see if they've got any uh, 
any materials, shall we? Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll just not skip ahead because, you know, the houses are literally only over here. Okay, uh, what is this chest over here? I believe this is either Daniel's or Vince's first place. Or where they're going to put their spawn house. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look, shall we? Do you have spruce wood? Please let you have spruce wood. You do not. Dang it. Oh my god. I'm going to have to sort refuge in Bloomin' Anthony's house again. Ah, oh, Stupid night time. Why you do this? Why? Why? I don't know, man. I don't even know. I'm just going to I'm just gonna go to sleep really quick. I'm going to sleep really quick. <laughs> I feel like I need to pay Anthony just for staying in his house. Good lord. Hello. <laughs> I like how he's just got a single door going to the bed. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Hmm. So you only need half of your privacy, do you? Hmm. Interesting. Nice. All right. Good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. One can only hope and pray that he has some spruce wood. If not, we're going to have to go on a massive freaking session of digging things. What's this? Spruce wood. No spruce wood. Ah, oh, dang it. I really should have bought some over from my blooming there. Uh, from my village. God damn it. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to go on a hunt for some spruce wood. And I shall meet you guys back once we are back onto the job of making the roof for our house. See you guys in just a sec. Alrighty guys, I am back and as you can see, I'm in the process of placing in the upside down stairs. And unfortunately, it's not exactly a quick job because I'm having to place these... Rather precisely, because if I do it on the bottom half of the block, it will turn into a, a stairs that is going upwards. So, yeah, bit of a pain in the ass, but, you know, I guess, I guess it's like it for a reason. Oh, no. Oh, wait. See, look, there we go. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Do you guys hate it when that happens? Like, you know that you place the block correctly, but the stair or slab just, I don't know, flips over or changes location. Ah, bit annoying. Bit annoying. Right, okay, we're nearly done, though. So, let's just do this thing. We can, we can persevere, we can do this thing, my friends. Alright, boom, boom, and boom. There we go, fantastic. Alright, now what we need to do is we need to get back up top, and we need to finish off the rest of the house. Now, luckily, oh, sorry, that was a squeak. Luckily, one of the things I forgot to consider was the fact that spruce wood actually uh, spawns in mountain vines, don't they? Spruce wood trees, anyway. So I went and grabbed some, and I've got a bunch of 2x2 two two spruce trees now growing over on the main island. So that is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to using that, and I'm sure the other guys will be able to utilize it as well. So if you would like to grab some wood, then you are more than welcome to, of course. All right, okay. So let's do this. Let's go up. Up, up, and away! Okay. And then we start doing this, I guess. Yeah. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, this will be the final layer, okay? This will be the final layer of the roof, so we're just going to completely flatten it out like so. And because this is the bottom half of the slab, no mobs will be able to spawn on it. The only thing they will be able to spawn on is maybe the upside down stairs parts. Wait, can I place torches on these? I can! Huh, interesting. Did not know that. Genuinely did not know that. Okay, boom, boom. Uh, might need to put one here as well. There we go, just for distributed lighting. And now, let's just have a look at it from the inside. Huh. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It looks pretty nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the main structure of our house is now complete. And what I'm going to be doing in the next episode is not only will I be able to finish this house by putting in some flower pots and decorative stuff just to make it look nicer, but I'm also going to try and make myself or make a bridge going over there. If not, then the backup plan is just to make a boating dock on either side. I don't know. I feel like the bridge would be a much more epic idea. So, I'm going to have to look up some bridge ideas in the meantime. But, for now, we are going to end the episode right there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yeah, I've got to be honest with you guys. I'm really, really happy with how this build has turned out. Yeah, just look at it. It's just a nice little island house. <laughs> it's it's quite cool, isn't it? It's very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, my friends. I do appreciate your continued support, and I will see you guys in the next episode.